Hey there crafty friends. It's been a minute since I've made a video and this one is a little bit different because it's a haul. As you may know I am Canadian and like 80% of the population of my beautiful country I live within two hours of the Canada-US border. In the before times, before COVID, I used to cross the border all the time because we have a family member who lives in upstate New York, very close to where I live. And I used to drop into Joann's and Hobby Lobby and all sorts of other stores and just make small purchases. It's been more than two years since we've been able to do that with any ease. So last Saturday, I jumped in the car with two of my crafty friends and off we went. So I'm going to show you all the little treasures that I managed to pick up when I was there. We'll start with Joann. And we went to two different Joann's. And I was able to find a bunch of stuff that was on my list and a bunch of stuff that wasn't. I picked up these Hero Art uh, ink cubes because they were on clearance for six bucks. And I like this ink. I have, I have quite a bit of it from other times. And then I picked up quite a few of these little Park Lane embellishments and things because they were 40% off. So I think I ended up paying like $1.24 or maybe they were 50% off for these. I just like the colors of those tassels. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. I know that these stamps are silicone, but I do like the shapes of them. And for a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty-five, whatever they were, it's worth giving it a try. And I don't have a, a floral of that description. I like this one, and it comes with the dies, so I'll have fun playing with these. And then I am making up uh, some cookbooks for some family friends and for my children. And I need a lot of fruit and food themed stamps. So I picked up this Hero Arts lemon one um, because I like, you know, I like some of the sentiments and I like the shape of the lemons. And you'll see some other lemon items in later bits of this haul. So I picked up that. And then I picked up this Hero Arts stamp set because I love the, the script font. And I like the way you can build your own sentiments. So... Uh, I just thought that would be really useful to have in my collection. Sorry about the glare, but I can't avoid it. It's the ring light. Blame, blame it on the ring light. And I have to have it on because it's suddenly cloudy and pouring rain here. I love this buffalo check embossing folder, and I don't have anything like that. So I picked that up. Again, it was on sale for, I think, 50 off. And then I just got this little sheet of gold foil because when do you not need gold foil paper? Out of always and I thought these note cards were pretty I'll probably use them in journals and include them you know as little page inserts in journals who knows but I thought they were pretty so I grabbed those I love floral paper and I picked up this bow bunny pad let me see if I have scissors I've got 12,000 pairs of scissors but do I have any close by that I can open this I just thought that the uh the floral patterns in this were just really pretty. So I grabbed this. It's a 6x8, obviously, and it has just really nice that I can use for cards or mixed media things or tags. Or I seem to be obsessed with making journals these days. So that will come in handy in my journal making for sure. And then I found these two little spools of ribbon on clearance. I think they were 70% off or 80% off or something. I love this one. It reminds me of the uh, of gum that I had when I was a kid. And I'm dating myself. It was Adam's Sour Cherry Gum, but it looked like this. And then this watermelon on a sort of a denim background, which I like. I, I picked up a package of this. This wasn't on sale, but I really like this paper. I love the scalloped edge. Again, that'll be really handy in journals. And it's solid core, so it doesn't, if you tear it, it doesn't, you know, crack white. And I, I like that. And then one of the things on my list that I was looking for at Joann's was this particular uh, paper pad. Again, floral, lots of pretty. I'm sure you've all seen it before, but just soft colors and really pretty floral prints and it and these are canvas this is a lot of the paper in here is printed canvas which i really like so uh, i picked that up and then the last thing i got was these tapestry needles because i do needlepoint and all my needles are getting nasty 
So I did that. And then uh, we went to Buffalo Stamps and stuff, obviously. I was in Buffalo, New York. And uh, it's a small, you know, independent uh, stamp store that I haven't been for probably three years, and I was really happy to make it back there. So I picked up all kinds of fun stuff from them, including this uh, Pink and Main anti-static brush. I'm anx anxious to try this out, as opposed to the, the bag that I have, because this has a clay substance in it, rather than the cornstarch that's in the little pouches, and it uh, apparently doesn't leave as much residue. So I'll give that a try and see how it works out. I but I love these tiny little strawberry stamps. Look at how small they are. So I'm kind of obsessed with strawberries right now. So uh, obviously those will be going into my cookbooks. I have wanted this Anna White rubber boot die forever. And so I'll be stamping some of my stemmed flowers and putting them in the boots and making some interesting little uh, images with those. But I'm really happy I found that. Here's another lemon dye this is from Lawn Fawn and I like the shapes of the leaves and all the sort of uh, you know you get the slice and the other shapes and all the different sizes and then I picked up this uh, Lawn Fawn teacup dye because it has the Kwai face pieces that you can add into it if you want to I collect tea and coffee dyes I collect teacups in real life and I don't have anything uh, this size in a teacup shaped dye so I got that and then I've been looking at this strawberry basket forever and, well, since it came out and uh, I just decided to buy it because I was buying everything else strawberry themed. And then I picked up this teapot. Again, I have a lot of teapot dies, but I don't have sort of a brown Betty shaped teapot. So I got this one and I'm really happy. I can't wait to start uh, playing around with that. And it's got the little tea bag um, tag that you can uh, drape out of the teapot too. So. I'll have fun playing with that one. And then I picked up this, uh, I've never seen this before, this Hero Arts cooking utensils. Um, I really like the shape of these and the size of them. I have other rolling pin and spatula dies and whisks, but they're not as big as this. So this will be really, this will get a lot of use in the cookbooks that I'm making. And then just as I was leaving, I spotted this. And I said to one of my friends, if anybody needed a cookie die, it would be me, right? <laughs> I bake a lot. And so I picked up this uh, Spellbinders cookie die. So, you know, it's got the peanut butter cross cut cookies on it. So I can't wait to make a few cuts with that. And then I got this uh, honeybee cutting board because I love the wood grain on it. And uh, I'm sure I can get lots of use out of that in my cookbooks and for other things. And then they had a special deal with the lawn fawn. If you bought some of the new release dies, you could pick up some of the uh, stamps that they had hanging on the wall from older uh, collections and this is I have all of the baking in the oven and the stove and the bean jelly bean jars and all that stuff but I don't have this one so I got this for 50% off which made me happy and the mice are so cute so I grabbed that and then I picked up these two photo play stamp set sentiment sets I have the dies already that these fit into and I have one of the other sets and these were buy one get one free so why not because I already had the dies and I have been on the search for the perfect pink ink now according to IO this is lilac this color not pink but stamped it's a very pretty soft blue based pink which is what I was looking for and then I found this wow embossing powder that seems to be very similar in color it's got a little bit of sparkle in it but I picked those up because that may be the end of that journey. And then I saw this on the cache and I've seen people use these and I get paint all over me all the time. And also, so I'll use this to scrub off, you know, my hands and surfaces, but also to clean my paintbrushes. Like you can just wet your paintbrushes and rub it on the, on the sponge that's on the top there. And the soap will come up and remove the paint from your brushes. So I have a lot of paintbrushes and I've less invested a lot of money in them and I'd like to keep them in decent shape. And our final journey was to Hobby Lobby, which is, you know, everything fun to purchase. So here's yet another lemon dye, but it's a different, again, it's a magenta one or memento one. And I like the size and the shape of the, of the dyes in there. So I picked that up um, and then I picked up this Hero Arts. This is a layered stamp, 
There are two other strawberry stamps that I'm trying to get a hold of, but it's an older collection. So I just, uh, I, hopefully I can find them, but I love this one, and I love this Hey There Shortcake sentiment. So I'll have fun playing with those. And then I grabbed this Momenta floral uh, stamp set because I just love these sort of wildflowers, and I have a lot of that sort of flower in my garden. So I'll have fun with that. And I am obsessed with trees, and yes, I'm Canadian, and yes, we have lots of pine trees, and yes, I have lots of them in my backyard. And so I'll get lots of use out of this stamp because it's pretty and, you know, it's trees. I love this. I've seen other people haul this one and I just love the envelope with all the flowers sticking out of it and happy mail so I can make stickers to put on the back of my envelopes when I send them out and stuff. So I thought I would get a lot of use out of that. And then this one, just because I don't have any flower stamps in this shape, and uh, it's a layering stamp, but uh, I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. And likewise with this one. Um, I don't have any lily stamps at all, so that's another one that I'll get some use out of. Now these things are things that I went for. This was on my shopping list. I've seen Jill Norwood and Crafty Bean and all kinds of other people haul these two particular paper studio pads. And because they were 50% off, I picked up both of them. So the Floral Collage and the Distressed Floral. I know you've seen them before because lots of other people have hauled them recently. And then one of my companions knows that I am always on the search for two from stamps. And last year, when I was making Christmas tags, I couldn't find any of mine. And so she found these and handed them to me. And I went, yep, they're coming home with me. And I've seen other people haul this chiffon ribbon it's called it's a nice gauzy kind of roll of ribbon and i just figured i would find all kinds of uses for that and i like these two colors so i grabbed those um card storage pouches they were i don't know if they were on sale or not but i bought them and then i picked up this printed vellum because i thought it was really pretty it'll probably end up in one of my journals because that's what i tend to do with printed vellum and i also grabbed a package of these of the sacks uh, I use these all the time to slide things in and in journals and swaps and the all the paper studio packs were on 50% off but I just picked up this one because I needed some of the blue tones the tealy blue tones I'm very low on that particular card stock and then I just love this bunny paper I don't know why I bought it I know Easter's a long way away but I just thought it was cute and likewise with this one and they were 34 cents or something so I grabbed those just to have in my stash and then somebody else had hauled this one last week too the Kirby Teasdale studio paper pad and I just thought these papers are really pretty and like they're shabby and vintage and all at the same time and beautiful colors and it was $12.99 and it was 50% off so I think it was $6.50 or something like that so well worth it and then when I was at Joann's, uh, they had cardstock on 10 for $2, so I just picked up some colors of cardstock that I use a lot that I'm sort of out of. I forgot to show you there. And then I went kind of nuts with the Paper Studio flowers being on sale because we just don't have craft stores in Canada with the breadth of merchandise that Hobby Lobby carries or Joann's. Or, and we don't have a lot of local scrapbook stores left, not in the area where I live anyway. So I went crazy. I have bought these before and used them all up. So I bought them in the purple tones this time. And then I love these little, I have other versions of these, the sort of um, resin with the stones in the middle, but I thought they were pretty. And these were all 50% off. So I bought the multicolored, and then I love these lavender stems. I think they're so pretty. And then these ones are just gorgeous. The pansies and the blue, green, purple tones. I just thought these were stunning. So I grabbed those because I couldn't walk away from them and resist them. And then I picked up some of this glitter shimmer spray in gold. I have the other two colors, but I didn't have any gold. And then I found this in the clearance and it was this big box. It's meant to be wedding invitations. But I was just kind of taken with the pre-made burlap bows that were in it and these uh, die-cut vellum sleeves that are meant to go over the invitation card. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I was very intrigued by them. And the box of them with the envelopes and the 
cards and then there's a smaller card that I guess is meant to be a reply card and it was three bucks it's on clearance for two two ninety nine so I grabbed it and I'll I'm sure I'll make something crazy and interesting out of that and I think that's it thanks for watching I look forward to posting some videos with things that I've actually made. I'm hoping that this shopping trip has broken my, I, I just have had no crafty mojo lately. So hopefully this will be the trick. And I look forward to showing you videos in the, in the soon times of all the pretty things that I was able to make. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.